So what I'm going to do is show this lady. I'll have this lady be my partner. Will you come up so everybody can see us? OK. Now here's what's going to happen. I need to real. I do realize she needs to change her shirt. I see it. There's food on it. Okay, she's got food out. Now notice how she looked because she understood what I said. But let's say she doesn't have awareness of this. Tell me your first name. Cindy. Okay, so this is my friend Cindy, and I'm. We're getting ready to go out, and we're going to her faith, her church. She's she's an active member of church, and and she's going to church, and I don't want people to see her like this, if I can avoid it, because what do they do? They judge her. They're going to judge her. And me too as a caregiver. Of course. Now, I know now that her shirt needs to change. I understand that. I've got that in my head, but I'm not going to say anything about it. As my friend Jeremy would say, I need to do this. Know my agenda, but don't show my agenda. <laughs> Jeremy's a very smart guy. I don't want to take my agenda, because here's my agenda, my list of what I want to get done. Take your agenda. Shove it in their face. Is this going to go well? No. no. So I don't want to do that agenda thing. I want to know it. Hey, Cindy. Now, notice what I used. Automatic social connection. I did what comes automatically. Now, that's still often there. Automatic social. Now, this is the hardest if you have a spouse, but you've got to get into this routine. And spouses, this is a hard one. Try it this way. Hey, sweetheart. How's my favorite? I want you to always offer your hand because what you want to end up doing is being able to touch the person. And you've got to do it in a way that their brain accepts your touch. And the best and the easiest way to do it is an automatic social. You've got to use what they got, automatic social. And if they pause, give them a little time. Remember, it may take them a few seconds to figure it out. Why? Because the wiring's dying. And it takes a little bit of time, so you want to stay where they can see. Hey, how are you? I'm fine. Yeah, you're looking good. Now, rather than let go of this hand, shake. Go ahead and do that with your partner. Early in the disease, you shake and you immediately lock thumbs, rock up, and close down. The reason is you want to have a connection here. They can hold on to you with strength. They can squeeze you. You can hold on to them with strength and look what you still have left. Skill. Also realize you can put pressure in the palm of their hand, which is going to be calming. So right away, we've got a new connection here that we can plug into. This is critical with the frontal temporal dementia where we're not going to have a lot of word connections. When we do this, we're going to swing our bodies around so that we're turned sideways to the person. You never want to be in front of a person who has frontal temporal dementia. Because what you're saying visually is, I'm the boss and you can't get through me. I'm also presenting myself as a target for touch and resistance. So if I start doing this to somebody who doesn't understand the meaning of what I'm doing, they may copy me. Whoa, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Because this becomes problematic as I'm trying to help her do hygiene tasks and she's either going to be resistive to it or misunderstand it. Hey folks, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to help us spread Teeps' positive approach message around the world. And don't forget to click the bell to get notified when new videos are posted.